The St. Peter's Peacocks, the darlings of the sports world for the last week, exited their Jersey City home gym Wednesday for the final time before the program's and its athletic conference's first Sweet 16 appearance. Walking before a throng of classmates, teachers, administrators, alumni, and community members in a light rain before boarding a bus bound for Philadelphia and at least one more opportunity to add to a string of March upsets. Perfect storylines, 15 seed, beat the number two seed, number seven seed next. Now we got the number three seed in front of us, we got it. St. Peter's students Martin, pregame and watch party DJ Nav, and Caitlin all held tickets to watch their Peacocks, only the third 15 seed to ever make it this far, take on third seeded Purdue Friday night. We're going to be in Philly. And despite belonging to a student body 16 and a half times smaller than the Boilermakers, vowed to make as much noise as anyone in the Wells Fargo Center at game time. She may be a small school, but we're a very private school. Small big school, school big heart. Thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate you guys' support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Many expect Peacock's head coach Shaheen Holloway to leave St. Peter's in the offseason for a bigger conference, more national TV time, and a substantial payday. <laughs> Making Friday perhaps his last game coaching St. Pete's. I feel like we could play with anybody. Holloway admitted Tuesday he had yet to devise a plan for his Peacocks to contain Purdue's seven foot four center Zach Eady, one of the top ten most efficient scorers in the nation. I don't know yet. We're still trying to figure it out. Were the Peacocks to shock the world a third time and beat the Boilermakers, it would become the first ever 15 seed to advance to the Elite Eight. These boys put in their hard work and their dedication, and it shows they really put us on the map. The Peacocks play Purdue at 7 p.m. Friday. The Boilermakers are favored by 12 and a half points. In Jersey City, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.